Hey, this is Tamara, signing on with some more of Blossom Tales. Alright, so last time we got into the wasteland, found Crocus's fortress, and now we're trying to get through it, and it's been several days since I last played, so I've completely forgotten what I'm supposed to do. So, let's figure this out together. Got an idea? Alright. Mm. That's an easy one. Now, how to do the rest? Oh, wait. Actually, not that hard. Okay, got it. Okay, it's been a couple of days. Been busy with work and recording other things. So, now I've completely forgotten what I was doing here. And... Okay, we'll get this figured out. Alright, that way's open. Probably gonna go up and around. Everything seems to be running right. Okay. Right, fair enough. Aha! Love the fireball technique. Okay. Whoops. Come at me! Come at me, there we go. Okay, making our way. I'm guessing what will help here. Oh! Does that just help me avoid damage? All right, cool. Do I just avoid damage when using that? I did not realize that, but that'd be great if it does. <clears throat> okay. Good to have another potion on hand. There was other things I was going to do before continuing much super far into this labyrinth, but, you know, things have changed. Okay, gotta get everything to the end. Okay, gotta get all the corners. There we go. Alright, um, powers down his stuff a little bit. I'm guessing this is outside to the porch. Yeah, okay, so it was how you got over there. I spent so much try time trying to figure out, it's like, ah, oh, it must be something else. Nope, that's the main path. Alright, so at least what I think that means is I'm done with the left side of the fortress, so now I gotta get do the right side. Anything up and around here, or just nothing? <laughs> just checking out how big his pad is. Whoops. Anything down here, though? Alright, so yeah, I'm getting near the end. If anything, we might be able to finish up in this episode, depending on how long this dungeon is, but we'll find out. Won't be the goal, but, you know, we'll see what happens when we get to it. I don't think so, but if we beat Crocus, it's just gonna unlock, like, the second half of the game, and that, or, like, you know, is gonna be, like, Link Between Worlds, where, or, you know, Link to the Past, and then just, like, something else opens up, and then it's just, like, uh, you know, um, no, yeah, I'm not explaining, yeah, then you can go to the Dark World, and everything's different. Turns out Crocus is just, like, the pawn for somebody else. I highly doubt it. I'm just teasing, but that'd be fun. Okay, I think I got it. I think I have an attack plan. Yep, okay. I messed up. Damn it. 
I messed up. I had it. I god damn it. I had it. That works. I had it the first time and then just like something about it just like, oh, stepped in the wrong spot and it messed up the whole thing. Nevertheless. Phew. Mm-hmm. Okay. Probably gotta use the dash boots to get past that. here. Spiders. Alright. Right? I keep forgetting I got invincibility potions. I really gotta use more of those. Definitely gotta use one on the final boss. Oh, wait. Okay, low battery, okay. There we go. Alright. Then through here and let's loop back around. Nope, not yet. Alright. That is a pit. I was gonna say, I wonder what's down this black carpet. Oh, nope. Okay, the key must be used down here. Can't catch me! Ah! I knew I'd misstep. God! Okay, that one, all these are my fault. Can I... Nope, wrong button. I think I tried this before, but nope, can't dash over a thing. That'd be cool, though. You know what? It just occurred to me that those, like, what are they called? Okay, they're not telling me. No, they're the Pegasus boot analog. I just realized, kind of. They're just like Pegasus sneaker now. Okay, cute. I like, I like the Pe Pegasus boots in uh, Link to the Past, or yeah, Link to the Past. And, yeah, I know, now it just occurred to me what that is supposed to be the parallel to. Go away. I'm stealing your stuff and you can't stop me. You guys pillaged from other places? I get to pillage from you now. That's how it works. Them's the fairness. Did I? Oh, okay, switch.
Power through it. Okay. I'm getting all those health potions for a reason, so I should be using them. A little bit more. Okay, let's... Before I get myself killed... Wait. Are these mushroom soups, or...? Oh, crap, okay. It did kick in. Okay, checkpoint. Good to good sign. Mage of the Black Rose. Enough, I've impressed you made it this far, but your journey ends here. Many knights ha have I slain in the name of Crocus, but killing you will be extra special. Prepare to feel your bones crack and blood boil, little knight. <laughs> Sorry. Power through the pain. Keep on bombing. medallion crackled with power in the young knight's hands. The knowledge to call down lightning from the sky was now hers. Cool. So, what do we got? It's not... It's not doing anything, unless it's got specific uses. Okay. Now it's working. Just seems like it strikes randomly. Sometimes it's a lot of things, sometimes it doesn't. Works for me. Seems to really make the magic meter fill up, you know, recover slowly after using it. Like, even slower than usually, usual when you run out of power. So then we gotta take the other door. Okay. I'm onto it. It's like a one hit kill, even on those super tough enemies, but it's an energy drain. Then takes a while to recover. I know there's plenty more I can do, and it looks like I'm still missing a, bunt, a couple of items. Then, but, uh, where was he going with that? I don't remember. Never mind. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> 
Okay. Hmm. Okay, wait. No. I'll use the D-pad so I don't mess up. Okay, I got this on lock. Alrighty, perfect. Was confused for a moment, but that worked out good. <laughs> that didn't do anything for me. This is probably the only way it can be. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, one more down, more to go. Yeah, there's no way, because it couldn't be going this way and get power from here, because then that would, just would not make any sense. Okay. Uh, got it. I don't know where I ended up. Am I still in... Okay, am I on the left? No, yeah, I'm on the... Silver... Wait... Did I end up? Okay, whatever. Never mind. I'm not gonna question it. Now just to see. All right, and shut. Oh wait. Aha. Probably through here we have to go. Jesus, I did not even realize I was going to die. Well, I still got plenty of those re resurrection flowers. I was not paying attention to my health at all. Fine, screw you. How many of those flowers do I got? A bunch, don't I? Oh yeah, I, I'm good. Probably need, don't even need to worry about it, but I still should be more careful.
Go away! Freaking go away! Probably just in case. They didn't need it, but it was good to have on hand just in case I did. Oops. Thought I was being smart. Okay, that worked out a little bit better. And I was all like, yeah! There we go. Ha, that helped me, technically. Oh, slipped up. Come on, what was that? Low battery, come on. I suppose it went a long time without a charge. It's good, it's just... God damn it. Charge. Can it last a couple of minutes? Oh yeah, I can always just switch the Joy-Cons. It's also an option. Alright, those out of the way. Oh! Nifty. Don't frickin'. Let's not. I gotta do... wait.
okay. Or is this just a dead end and I'm just... Ah, okay. Very confused, but there we go. Okay, is this the last one? Up. Okay, wait. Yo. Okay, now the path is open to us. At least it should be. Where we go to left. There we go. We're building up. Are we at the battle with Crocus? Electricity crackled through the air as our hero walked before the evil throne. This is it, Grandpa. The final showdown. I never thought I'd hate a stupid little knight as much as I do my brother. Even though my powerful spells kept the kingdom safe all these years, the entire kingdom always adored Orchid instead. Perhaps I could have been nicer to the people, maybe not force them to do grueling personal chores for me, but still. None of that will matter once I dethrone my brother and take the kingdom. Young knight, you'll be the first to bow to, down to me. Wizard King Crocus. Alright, bring it on. Let me show you my own. I fired everything in the wrong direction. Power through it. Okay, that doesn't reach. This does, but cha! Probably not helpful to do that. Should probably use the bows when he does that. Zap, zap! Probably not the smartest move. To... Probably not the smartest move to use all my light or er, all my magic on lightning, but it's cool. Power through it. Hey, what is this stuff? Oh, it's energy potion. Okay. Through the pain. Whoa! If I'm gonna be honest, this is way more exciting than fighting Cannon in Link to the Past. I mean, yeah, I'm exploring the hell out of many systems, but it's fun. A lot going on. Oh! A mighty wizard, defeated by a lowly recruit. I was literally hired this morning. Curse the knights, curse my foolish brother. Curse you, Lily. 
<laughs> Sorry. I want to do a little, be a little more guttural, but it's like it's been a long day. <laughs> and so, sorry, I just looked at my phone. And so, the wizard Crocus was defeated, never to cast a terrible spell on another living soul again. Yay! Blossom Kingdom can finally, finally ha can blah, 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 peace. Let the celebration begin. <laughs> Everyone's dead. Turns out the orcs attacked while we were distracted. Our kingdom is f is forever in your debt. Please take this royal bracelet as a small token of your king's gratitude. May it help you cleanse the our lands of the evil that still lingers, thanks to my brother. Alright. Looks like a ring. Long live Lily, hero of Blossom Kingdom. And so ends the story of Blossom Tales, the Sleeping King. Great story, Grandpa. I didn't like it though. <laughs> I really like that story. I really, da, da, da. I really like that story, Grandpa. She sure was brave. Oh yes, yeah, Lily showed us that even when it looks like darkness has won, anyone can be a hero. All it takes is a little courage, and a lot of heart, and a lot of hearts that we collect along the way. Which, again, that's another um, Legend of Zelda analog. You know, to Link being hero of courage. You know. So which story is next? Oh, be good tomorrow, and I'll tell you another one before bed. As for now, it's time for you young sprouts to hit the hay. I've t been telling this story for almost eight hours. Little do they know, I am Lily. <laughs> At least somebody got tucked out by the story. Okay. Whoops. Okay, that Blossom Tales the Sleeping King. If we play, where does the save leave me at? I'm curious. Lydia didn't just sit at home after feeding Crocus. No, sir. There was still plenty more things to do throughout her wonderful kingdom, like finding more secrets to uncover and people in a, in need of heroic a uh, heroic helping hand. Tell us, Grandpa. I don't. I don't. I don't want this story to end. Okay, but what was that? That was Chris, right? And then, what was that? Okay, well, what do we got here? Oh, so with this ring, we can now just teleport from anywhere. That's good, actually. That's a nice bonus. Okay, cool. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. What was that last, what was that signifying that there was a little more? Okay, now I'm, you know, there's plenty more to do, but as far as I'm concerned, you know, that's a game. So that was Blossom Tales and The Sleeping King. How was it? It's really good. I like it. I really like it. Yeah, definitely if you like games like, you know, 2D, or no, not, well, yeah, kind of 2 you know, like Top Down Zelda, Link to the Past, um, Link Between Worlds, Class, or Original Zelda, you know, obviously if you like Zelda, you're probably going to like this a lot. Because, it's, yeah, very much like in the same vein of Link to the Past, as it's made obvious. Yeah, it's easy to stock up on things that make things a bit too easy, but I'm not complaining. It's fun to just throw around bombs. Like, it's just fun. I like the energy meter stuff. And it's just fun to, like, use weapons rapidly. I remember I was describing this to a friend. Actually, it's on my uh, SpongeBob um, Let's Play I'm doing with a friend. But I was telling him in one episode, it's like, ah, oh, what have you been doing? So I've been playing Blossom Tales, and I go, it's like, it's just, it works on an energy meter, so you can just, like, start spamming bombs and arrows, and he's like, oh, that sounds great. Like, everything I was describing to him just sounded like he, you know, he, re like, per really perked up his ears. And, like, fighting two dozen enemies at once and just, like, just spamming magic attacks like this is just super fun. And, yeah, he sounded very intrigued. And I think that says it all, just like you describe a couple of things and it immediately gets somebody's attention. So, yeah, being... Just checking. Because I still haven't done a bunch of stuff. I didn't deliver letters, there's plenty of other shops and stuff I've missed. But as far as I'm concerned, as far as the Let's Play goes, that's it. So, yeah, I guess I don't have that much to say because I've been saying it constantly throughout. But yeah. Blossom Tales, if you like, if you're looking for a uh, scratch to the Legend of Zelda itch, either if you don't have a new Legend of Zelda game to play or, you know, need to get something pretty cheap, I think this was only 20 bucks. And, you know, that's good. 
Good price. Good price for a good solid game. That was like eight, a little under eight hours. And you know, that was for me doing a lot of exploring, but there's more to do. So, you know, it's fun. So, yeah, I guess I don't have that much to say. Characters are fun. I like the whole, like, oh, telling a story to the grandkids. Um, you know, visage of it all. Um, collecting items. The scrolls are fun. The personalities are good. So, yeah, it's just a very solid, solid game. So, yeah, if you need something to scratch the Legend of Zelda itch, this would be a perfect game to do that with. Even if you just watch me play... <laughs> Even if you just watched me finish the game, you know there's plenty more to do, and I'd still recommend it if you haven't played it yet. So, I guess that's about it. So, yeah, Blossom Tales, a lot of fun. I'm wondering, it all happened quick and maybe I wasn't paying attention, but like, what was that allusion to like, Chris? Or, was that Chris or was that Lily? Like, they both look too similar. <laughs> I think it was Chris, but I might have just like, missed Saw, because I was just like, looking at him, and then when I saw the flash, it was just, like, completely messed up. I was too busy making jokes about who Grandpa was. So, I missed out what that is, but maybe that's implying something, which, that'd be interesting. Okay, well, I suppose that's it for now. So, with that all being said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off, and thank you for watching me play Blossom Tales, The Sleeping King.